Today is the day I've been waiting for. Today is the day I interview Bob Proctor. Windy for me to do this video right now, so I'm gonna keep the minimal talking and do this when I get inside. But I'm going downtown to my co working office so I can interview Bob Proctor. Holy crap, I am so nervous. the room that a couple interviews will be happening in today. Oh, that's cool. I usually don't book out rooms for podcast interviews, but I figured Bob Proctor, I want it to be nice, kind of quiet, and uh, who knows how it goes, but seems like a, this room has good acoustics. For people that think that podcasting is difficult, it is, but it's not an equipment issue. That is all I need to run any podcast from anywhere in the world. So let's fix it. Ta-da! I can honestly say I have not been this nervous in quite a long time. I have butterflies in my stomach. I can't remember anything that I wrote down. Looking at his LinkedIn, I have kind of some questions, some things that I want to ask. Usually the way I do my interviews is that I try to do as much research on them as possible beforehand, read up on them, and then when the call comes in, I try not to look at any of my notes. I try to let my own intuition take place and try to trust that I'm gonna be able to remember you know, the story over here or this fun fact over here and try to bring it all together because if you go in too scripted, if you forget something, then you're screwed because you don't know what you're gonna say next and then you're thrown off and then if you're thrown off, the energy is off. So it's this huge thing. You gotta keep the energy is super important. The flow is super important. <coughs> Hello, Bob. Yes, sir. How's everything going? <laughs> good. Good, good, good. Um... That interview was maybe one of my best interviews. I was a bit nervous in the beginning. You're gonna be able to tell whenever you do hear this, but in the middle, he said something that triggered me and I just went into complete flow, no notes, and then at the end, he said something that really blew me away, really, really touched by it, and uh, yeah. Phenomenal, phenomenal interview. The co-working space I work with, they have multiple offices downtown. I'm gonna walk over to the other office and that's where I'm gonna do my other interview for tonight. Getting ready for my second interview. It is gonna be my man, AJ Leon. If you don't know him, look up his stuff. The Life and Remarkable Times of a Misfit. I'm actually reading it right now. AJ, if you're watching this, I prepare better last minute, I swear to God. I'm so stoked from the other one that I feel like I don't even need to look at any notes for this but I will because I respect AJ and I respect his work and I wanna make sure that we capture his story, the essence of it, 
and I hope that you guys, after watching this, take a look at both the episodes. here I'm just on my way home I think I'm either gonna just chill out or do some editing I'm extremely behind on vlogs and podcasts but thank you for joining me on today's back scene into the podcasting world I hope you guys enjoyed that and be sure to check out the future episodes and I'll see you guys tomorrow this is how we look Wave to the camera. Peace. Come with me. Let's see what today has in store.